We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. On my foundationals, this is an exclusive interview with black American female, four-time gold medalist Ashton Smith, as she exposes the Special Olympics and all the crooked politics and racism she experienced during her tenure. Make this video go viral. This is very important. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's okay, much awesome, awesome. That's much better. And I got the room locked, and I'm gonna go put this tripod back up since I don't need that. Let's okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude, my story is uh, it's powerful. Yes. I say that. And it's getting a lot of attention. Um, I got a lady that wants me to go to Dallas. Mm -hmm. Um, on Sunday, but I told her I said, you know, the train don't run on Sundays, you know, and. Mm. That's just kind of how it is. I mean, they don't run on Sunday, so I might not be able to go to Dallas, but they don't run. Okay. So, but I'm hoping to be able to get out there and do that, because that'll be a good opportunity for me. Okay, that's good. Why don't you introduce yourself to the people and let them know your story and where you was raised and everything and all that good stuff. All right, cool. cool, cool. I want to go put that. Okay, all right. Tripod back up. Okay, so. yeah, take your time. Take your time. Awesome. Yes, 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 indeed. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, hope everybody's doing good. Let me shut this door. I hope you guys are doing well. I am here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, feeling good today. Um, my name is Ashton Smith, a prior four time gold medalist in the Special Olympics. Um, I competed. Um, in Dubai and I competed in Seattle in the national games and of course Dubai in the world games and um, you know a little bit about me you know my grandmother raised me um, that kind of thing she was always a part of my life and um, you know my mom who recently passed away as well she had some intricacies in my life and so my condolences before her passing yeah absolutely and um, even before my mother's passing she um, spoke to me a lot and uh, you know it's it's hard to not have a mother you know she was always encouraging to me other people in my family my sister I also lost um, during the pandemic I oh, also wow. lost my grandmother my condolences yeah yeah absolutely I lost a lot of people in my family and I just try to keep my head up really and honestly because um, even being younger you know for me I always had to keep my head up because you know I was always told no by many people that no, I should not play sports or do this or do that. But um, I've never let that stop me as a person of uh, perseverance and uh, those kinds of things. Even what I'm going through now, I just continue to fight to get my story out there to people and those who absolutely want to listen. But yeah, without my grandmother and other people in my family, um, where I'm at today absolutely would not be possible. Even mentors in my life and know who they are as well. Um, and without those people as well and friends, it would be difficult uh, today. So I'm, I feel really good. Absolutely. That's great. So uh, where's your family from? Which state? Like, um, you know, my family. Uh, you know, we're we're from Texas, and okay. you know, I've been here all of my life. And you know, Texas, it's not the best state to live in when it comes to political stuff. I guess yeah. it depends on what part of the aisle you're on. With the, you know. Uh, Texas is heavily Republican. I know for me, mm -hmm. I've dealt with a lot in the state of Texas. Uh, you know, a little bit about my story and how that affects me. Um, you know, I deal, I deal with, uh, you know, racism in Texas while being an athlete in the Special Olympics. People can Google Special Olympics Texas Confederate flag. Google Special Olympics Texas Confederate flag. Um, there was an article written about the stuff that goes on in their program. Somebody else dealt with it and they went public about it. You know, uh, people think that, you know, they, they benefit people while being in the Special Olympics. No, Special Olympics enriches itself off the backs of other people, not just me. Yes. Um, I'm doing this to speak out against it because this type of stuff should not be tolerated. And, you know, Texas has had problems. Even South Lake Carroll's been on the news for, 
it's part, you know, in racism. It, you know, it's all over, not just Texas, but it's more prevalent, it seems, out in the open in states like this. Yes. And uh, then you have these uh, school boards and stuff being taken over by, uh, we'll say, mad Republicans. Some people say mad, I don't really know what all it is. I just say mad yeah. Republicans. Yeah, <laughs> mad Republicans. Uh, yeah. Because they want to strip away uh, black history and other things. And for me, you know, when I was in the Special Olympics, I was called three fifths of a person. Well, that goes back to history, you know. And so a lot of that racism wow. and stuff, you know, fixed because I wasn't treated like a person in that program. Let's be real. Let's tell a story. Let's yeah. be real. I was not treated like a person. I was treated like property. Um, I dealt with abuse in their program, mm. physically, physical, excuse me, and mental abuse. The Special Olympics is not happy just due to the fact that I'm able to speak out um, about some of the issues that I went through, um, what, what affected me. Um, I spoke out about it mm -hmm. because I did not want to uh, have anybody uh, be mistreated. Yes. And I think I think when people feel like they are mistreated. Um, then they shut down and you know for me you know I had to deal with a lot even mentally in the Special Olympics you know I took counseling um, and things like that just to keep my mental sanity because I had an athlete talk about doing harm to me wow. um, the lady talked about doing harm to me because I'm a black person and she didn't want to see me succeed and, and she was she was white she, went, she was a white lady you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying and, yeah. uh, you know and she uh essentially went to the Special Olympics and told them stuff that was not true about me and said I put my hands on her I never touched the woman so that was uh, everything that she said to them was a lie I just yes. be gone and it worked because I'm out of the program and she gets to participate and her parents have money and they can use their influence to, yes. to you know get people kicked out the program but they little that they know I'm not stupid either little that they know there's things called lawsuits and yes. they, uh, it's called misrepresentation of use of image and that's what special olympics didn't think i was smart enough to know like i'm not stupid hello and they woke up a beast because i'm not somebody that's crazy or that you're gonna take advantage of i'm gonna use the law to say yeah my image was used to, for y'all to gain profits yeah while i gain nothing but medals in a bag that mm. are underneath my bed let's be real or the trophy that i won it's a doorstop why because I lost my mother and father. A lot of my medals and stuff, I sold them during the pandemic. Why? Because I don't get paid from the Special Olympics. You can Google Ashton Smith, Dallas Observer. I talk about, I do not get paid. I talk about the fact that you're not allowed to win prize money or money of any kind. You can Google the rules. Wow. Are athletes allowed to make money in the Special Olympics? No, the answer is no. Wow. So because the answer is no, you're a slave and you're like an indentured servant. Or yeah. if you've ever looked up, you know, uh, um, agreements and different things like that an NDA I didn't sign anything like that yeah. a conservatorship I didn't sign anything like that so Special Olympics essentially treated me as if I was under the preview of these documents and I wasn't All right, I never signed anything uh, giving up you know uh, the right to be married the right to own land or have businesses yeah. and you're not allowed to do that in the Special Olympics you're not allowed to to uh, to own businesses or have money, and if you do have money, it's at a meager job. Like you can work at a grocery store, okay? Because I don't want them to say, "Well, we never kept her from working." No, you kept me from working the type of jobs I wanted to work. So yeah. here's the example: if I wanted to work at a grocery store, I could do that. Yeah. But if I wanted to be the owner of that grocery store, I couldn't do that, right? Because wow. oh, that's too rich, and so. The Special Olympics essentially was created to sort of dumb people down. Like, yeah. I had to have something called a chaperone that I didn't even need. I don't need a person following me around. Wow. I just need you to hand me a piece of paper and tell me where I'm supposed to be. Special Olympics even told me not to use the internet. I have a text from a coach. Wow, I was really? told to stay off the internet. Yeah, this is America. Wow. Yeah, I, man. Yeah, if you have a Facebook page, yeah. um, I can send you the audio of uh, what was given to me. This is the audio that I recorded of them kicking me out when they said that they didn't. I recorded the conversation. Yes, yes please send that. Please send that. The, please send yeah. that. The, the people uh, need. The people need, they need to hear to this. Yeah, I'm 
trying to figure it out. If you, do you have a Facebook page? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, go on my Facebook page, shoot me a message, okay. and I'll send you the recording because okay. it's on Facebook. Okay, I do that. Um, I could just send you. Uh, it's crazy because I shouldn't have dealt with that. I said, guys, and then when I try to speak up during the recording, they're telling me to shh. Okay, wow. that's not cool. And then they tell me to keep everything in house. When I deal with being abused by an athlete, y'all told me not to contact the police, and I got kicked out your program for contacting Fort Worth police. In what country is it that it's against the law for me to contact law enforcement? It's not. The exactly. Special Olympics try to tell me that. They exactly. try to, you know, fill your head with a bunch of stuff. And uh, tell you that it's against the law. No, it's not against the law for me to talk to the police. See, Special Olympics try to tell me that I shouldn't have spoke to the police because they were third party. It doesn't matter if the police are considered third party. It doesn't matter if the police department doesn't work for the Special Olympics. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Exactly. The police department, that's who you go to. So, you know, so... You know, so I felt like my rights were straight up violated when I went to their program. I tried to go to their board and talk about this athlete abusing me, and they didn't care about it. Wow. They celebrated it by kicking me out the program. And, you know, I was called all kinds of names by their CEOs. I was called a poor N-word with no money. And, wow. Uh, you can't sue us. Yeah, you can't sue us because we're a charity. Okay, well, I can't sue you because you're a charity. No, that's a lie. Y'all misrepresenting it by image. Y'all lied to your board medically. I have medical proof of injuries I suffered while being in their program. I had concussions and everything. Wow. I've, I've had video where, where a dude got mad because I beat him on the round and he uh, tried to literally knock me out the game. Like, yeah, I ended up in the hospital and everything in 2014. They thought I was a dummy. No, there's medical records about it. You know, yeah. and it's like any and everything doesn't apply to them. The law doesn't apply to them. The Special Olympics has told me, oh, the law doesn't apply to us. Y'all, can, there's all kinds of stuff about their program of abuse and rape against people. It's not just me. I'm just a person that's the catalyst that can speak out. My mother and father's not alive. I told the Special Olympics, what are you going to tell my mom, my dad? I'm the arbiter of my life. And essentially, Special Olympics um, called the police on me, um, you know, and it's not cool, you know, yeah. it's not, it's not cool. You know, when I was no longer in your program on 3-3-2020, y'all called, they called the police on me, right? Though that's documented. Wow. You called the police acting like you're checking up on me. No, you're not checking up on me because the dude in the back said he was here on behalf of Special Olympics and the mm-hmm. police had to leave. Why? Because that's a conflict of interest. Why? Because the Fort Worth, because the Fort Worth Police Department and them, they work with the Special Olympics. They do something called the Law Enforcement Torch Run. That's okay. a conflict of interest. Don't send the police out here acting like you're checking on me. Because yeah. if you wanted to check up on me, you should have checked up on me September 18th, 2019, when I told y'all about being abused in your program. You didn't check up on me then. So everything that they did in that program, it was it was against the law. You send the police yeah. to my home illegally. Um, on behalf of your program because the dude said the reason they were there. We're concerned about you. No, you should have been concerned about me when I told y'all about an athlete talking about bringing a gun and shooting me, but wow. y'all were okay with that. Y'all should have been concerned when an athlete can draw a noose on her hand with erasable marker and wave it in my face and then erase it. Y'all wow. should have been concerned when this athlete's parents called the Special Olympics telling me that I shouldn't be telling them I shouldn't be a part of the program no more. They, wow. all of this stuff, the Special Olympics is a 50 year scam of a joke. And the people, they are used and, and exploited. Nobody gets paid. They want you to think that you, you and you, and whoever else is sitting in there yeah. with you, at the end of the day, you don't get paid. And I'm tired of my efforts my, my my talents, I did public speaking for the Special Olympics. I did all kinds of stuff for their program and never got compensated for public speaking. That's a job. I never that's got compensated yeah. for. Oh, and then you can't even use their footage or video. Look this up. You cannot use footage, video, imagery, or logos to to uh, to seek work. You cannot do. You can't do that. You cannot use any of their imagery, but they can use your face to make hundreds of millions of dollars. Wow, that's crazy. And that's why this is going to be a TED Talks. This is something I hope to take the TED Talks. Anybody yeah. out there that runs a TED Talks, anybody out there that deals with public speaking, holler at me because I'm ready for business. 
and I'm ready to do public speaking. I have 20 years of public speaking experience. Yes. There is no reason. The Special Olympics has to understand nobody wants to be exploited and used for their talents and told your life doesn't matter. My life doesn't matter, but my talents matter. Yes. I'm going to say it one more time. My life doesn't matter, but my talents did. Exactly. So the story of my life, that yeah, the story that I found out in my life is that I was swimming upstream to realize a fake dream. The name of my book is called Swimming Upstream to Realize the Dream. Why? Because I thought I would realize a dream that would get me out of poverty or get me out of the situation I was in. Instead, it compounded my situation and left me bankrupt in thousands of dollars in debt. But I overcome mm-hmm. that story. Yes, Special Olympics was a home. Yes, it was a program that offered me opportunity, blah, blah, blah. It did not better my life. Special Olympics has done nothing to better me or my family's lives. Mm-hmm. I was left homeless, sleeping outside and under bridges in some cases. Wow. Or sleeping from place to place. You can Google Ashton Smith NBC5. I don't have to lie, right? I'm telling you stuff you can Google. Yeah. This is what the dude with TED Talks told me to do when I go on radio shows and stuff. He said, start telling people what they can Google. Forget yeah. telling people. Mm-hmm. Start showing people the resources. Mm-hmm. Google Ashton Smith Special Olympics. You find these articles about my life and you can start to say... No, I went to the news. I went to the Dallas Morning News. I went to the Dallas Observer. My story was featured on NBC5, ESPN. These people, uh, as far as, you know, does NBC5 get paid? No, but Special Olympics gets coverage and stuff off of that. And yeah. NBC is a sponsor of the Real Olympics, the Paralympics, and the Special Olympics. Mm-hmm. But NBC does not know that we're being exploited. NBC and all the corporations in America that sponsor the Special Olympics have been lied to to say the money goes to help the athletes. No, it doesn't. Because when I ask their organization to pay for food, hotels, and all of those things, they did not do that. They, I have a list of all the things that I was supposed to pay for in their program. Did you send me that, um, that hello on Facebook? Let's see, and I can in Messenger. Was that? Did you send that to me so I can? Did you send me that uh hello on Facebook so I can um send you that recording? You wanted me to send you that recording, right? Oh yeah, I, I sent it right now, matter of fact. Okay, yeah, and then I can uh, send you this recording. But yeah, man, uh, so you can play it. it. It's a sad shame because all I know is I'm telling the truth. That 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 is what I know, and I know that my family has always told me to stand up for what's right, regardless of what it cost me. It cost me my entire career. Everything that I worked for was taken from me. Everything that I that I worked for, it was taken from me. And uh, and you will see me on Facebook with the little swim hat, and uh, go to Messenger, and I'll uh, and I'll shoot you this recording. All right, doing it right now. Okay. But yeah, I mean, my life has to change, buddy. I mean, I am I am too talented. You know, I'm a swimmer. I've done five different sports for their program. Yes. That is that is a fact. You know, I did uh, swimming, track and field, bocce, basketball, and flag football. That is okay. five sports that I played for their program. Yes. And in many cases, I was the only girl... Uh, uh, you know, I was I was the only girl on the teams many times. Wow. I was that good. And yeah. so the Special Olympics knew that I was a talent and they just wanted to use my talents to make money. And they didn't yeah. care about my well being or my safety or anything. Now when you were they there were you, were you the only black person there or were those, those other blacks? Um, there were other black people, but they weren't other sports. There weren't really any black swimmers. Um, okay. let's be real. So yeah. it's just it, it was tough being, you know, being a black person and uh, having to put up with the stuff that I had to put up with. But justice is coming in the name of Jesus for me. That's yes. real. That's what I hold on to. Yes. The fact that I have people that can Google. They're not incompetent. We're in the internet era. Special Olympics try to take down everything off their websites of me. Well, it's too late. This is the internet. You can't take the internet now. You may be able to take yeah. stuff off your websites. Exactly. Okay? But the, the images and stuff, it's too late. That stuff's out there. Once yeah. it's on the public internet, that's game over. Yeah, it's game over. That's it. Yep. They, yep, they used my image to make millions of dollars on networks and got me nothing, like singled me out to make money. So 
when you join the Special Olympics, do you have to sign paperwork that they that they like own your image? They don't own my image, but they have people sign paperwork under coercion. Like if you don't sign it, you're not able to go on this trip or mm. do this. Or it, it's it's really crazy. Okay, I'm looking for that uh message. You see me that message on Facebook? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just send it. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Okay, so now I can send you this recording. Okay. Awesome. Okay, perfect. That's a six with thumbs up. Perfect. Bingo. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I just I look at it like this and. What has happened to me, it should have never happened. Like, you know, when you put in the work that I have, you've got your body in world-class condition, mm -hmm. and you end up literally with nothing financially to show for your efforts. And those things are never okay. Yes. Um... I just sent you the recording. Okay. So it's saying send it. So you can play this recording and listen to how these people treated me. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then how do I share this uh recording uh, that you're doing? How do I share this? Because uh this is being broadcast from Clubhouse, but I don't know how to share what we're listening to as well. What you mean share the recording you just sent me? Yeah, that recording I just sent it to you. Yeah, and uh, uh this uh. Yeah, I'm gonna upload it at the end of this interview so everybody can hear it. Okay, okay, cool. And yeah. then how do I share the interview uh, with other people that want to listen in on this as well? Are you on YouTube? How are you broadcasting this? Uh, on YouTube, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. Okay, yeah, it's well, gonna be on, on YouTube. YouTube and I got it. Yep. Okay. Or send me the link of this interview and I'll share it. Absolutely. Okay. This is pre-recorded, so it's going to be a couple of days when I upload it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, um, and then that'll give you time to edit anything. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, edit stuff. But um, absolutely, brother. I'm just grateful because I know that um, this is going to work out well. I also will send you a couple of pictures. I know you told me to do that. I will yes. do that on um on Facebook, I'll send you some stuff right now so you can have it. What oh. I do know is things in my life are going to turn around. Yes. There, there's positivity in my life. I'm working with, um, you know, my friend Kevin, um, you know, shout out to him um, and other folks that are just, you know, really integral people in my life and Mr. Garrison and others that have told me to stay the path and um, that is what I'm doing and I am literally swimming upstream to realize the dream like the name of my book I think it's very very important um, as I pick up steam to let the audience know yeah. these are positive things that I am doing public speaking um, getting my story out there yes. going on podcasts mm -hmm. and you know folks who run booking and management companies where, where they get a percentage those are the companies I want contacting me I do not yes. want management companies telling me that I have to pay them a fee yeah. that also is not going to work that's not legitimate because these companies can take your money and do nothing for you and a lot of them their contracts say even if you pay we do not guarantee you work so why am I paying you for it yeah exactly so, no. So I stopped. I stopped doing that once I got started reading a couple of contracts uh, uh, of these companies. And know some of them, you know, they want you to pay to be managed, and that's just not the road. That's not the right way to do it. I feel like my career is going to take off with the right people in my life, with the right ingenuity, the right know-how, because I'm a four-time gold medalist, and um, oh, you know, there wow. aren't that many African-American swimmers, and I'm also fighting to be reinstated, because I never should have got kicked out the Special Olympics anyway, mm -hmm. and when I get reinstated, I am going to come with vengeance, and I'm going to be winning, okay? Yes. I'm serious, because I've kept my body in shape, and I'm, and I can still do it, and I got my new knee braces and everything that I, that I need, mm -hmm. um, you know, so I can come back eventually and start, you know, getting back in the gym and start pursuing my dream. I am going to be reinstated, okay? Yeah. And that's another thing that I'm going to fight for because being kicked out, I didn't ask for that. Well, you know, this is America, okay? Yes. I have the right to speak up. Well, I have the right to speak up against iniquities in my life, wrongdoings. What, what, you year, have, what, year, were you, right. what year were you kicked out? I was kicked out September 18th, 2019, and I was told to leave. And that's the day, that's the night of that recording. Okay. The re 
yeah, so that recording, uh, you can, you know, kind of add that to this footage or whatever. But yeah, man, I just know that it should have never happened to me. And these people can sit here and lie and say, oh, we didn't kick her out. And then this is what the trip is. They told the Dallas Observer, I'm a good athlete. Y'all are too fake. You tell the Dallas mm-hmm. Observer, I'm a good person. Then why am I out of your program? They didn't know exactly. what to say. Exactly. So it looks bad on them in the courts because y'all told a news station. And then they try to tell the Dallas Observer to take the comments out. No, the dude said, this is what you said to mm-hmm. us. And the dude told him that the phone call was recorded. I guess he forgot the word recorded. So the dude was like, I'm going to type down everything that you say. And he told him that. So it's like, I, you know, it's like God has a way of revealing. And that means yes. that I was a good person and you want me back someday. Yeah. Okay. Y'all told the Dallas Observer that. And you can read that in there. You know, God, God is good because, yeah, I went through turmoil. The last two years, I'm going to tell you, it was tough. To yeah. the point, I started questioning what I was here for. I mean, anybody would. I lost my parents. Come on, man. Wow. Anybody would question the, the, the reason for their existence. Yeah. And then I had my career taken from me, and then a pandemic happened. It just felt like the world was coming to an end, that I yeah. couldn't get a break. And I kept asking God, like, please change my life around. Yeah. Like, straight up, you know, because I don't want to be doing the same things two years from now. Yeah. Exactly. I don't. I don't. And that's real talk. So I all I know is um, is it, it's a big deal. How how long were and you in I, the I, how long were you in the uh, Special Olympics? I was in the spe- that's where I was gonna go as well. I was in the Special Olympics since the nineties. Like there was wow. no beach movements or none of that stuff. I was in the Special Olympics in the nineties. Okay, wow. that's a long time. Yeah. Decades, and I, my family never benefited from that. My grandmother had to buy food, uniforms, because they didn't pay for it. And if it wasn't for my grandmother and my family financially helping me, yeah. like my mother when she was alive, yes, I couldn't have sustained being in their program. It's not okay. I have a whole list of where their program had me paying for things. Wow. I had to pay for food, hotels, yeah, out of my pocket. I wow. have a whole list. I had to file. I had to file. Um, Chapter 7 bankruptcy at that time because the Special Olympics lied and said they would reimburse me and they never did. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, they, they exploit people financially and they make these people use their disability checks to pay for food, hotels. What? Make these mothers and fathers, yep, make the mothers and fathers use their welfare checks to pay for stuff. Absolutely. Wow. That's why my grandmother had to do that when I was in school. When I got disability, my grandmother would take a portion of that money and divide it up so I could do the Special Olympics. Yes, my grandmother wow. wasn't dumb, and then to this day, I got a list of where I had to pay for hotels and stuff. Yes. Wow. Yes, I got a list. Like, they can't sit here and say, oh, she's making this up. No, it even has the team name on it that I was a part of that I had to pay for it. So you still got all the documentation. I had to pay for stuff. Huh? So you still have all, all the document documentation and receipts of everything you had to pay for, right? I have all this stuff. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I, absolutely. I, yeah. You know, I sent you that recording because that's a big deal. They trying to say they didn't kick me out, and they did. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely uploading that that, that phone conversation. So everybody, everybody can hear the truth. Yeah, they. Yeah, everybody needs to hear the truth. It, it's a, it's a dang on shame, you know that. That I have to speak out about that. Were there some good things in the Special Olympics? You mentioned there were some good things, teamwork, stuff like that. But there were also some bad things. There were some horrible things. Yes. You know, people deal with 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 all kinds of stuff. Some people have been molested in the Special Olympics. Some people wow. deal with hands being put on them. It's all kinds of articles about it. It's not just my story. Wow. There are stories in all 50 states of lawsuits against the Special Olympics. Special Olympics is worse than the Boy Scouts of America. Wow. I'll say that one more time. Special Olympics is worse than the Boy Scouts of America because most of these athletes cannot talk. They can't say, hey, this is happening to me. Yeah. They can't say that. Wow. What they can say, some of them can't speak and they say nothing because they don't know nothing. And when you don't know nothing, it's like slaves. 
you become an indentured servants to the Special Olympics, and you see these athletes, 60, 70 years old, still participating, not knowing that baby money is being made off you. We, I had to even pay for registration for certain events. I had to pay for that stuff out of my pocket. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Special Olympics is the biggest scam to ever exist on the face of the earth. I call it the Bernie Madoff for disabled people. That is exactly what Special Olympics is. The CEOs enrich themselves. They get up the six figures. Go Google it yourself. I'm telling people what they can go Google. That is what the dude, that is what uh somebody told me. Start mm-hmm. going on these podcasts and telling people what they can Google. They integrate your story into it. And that's what I'm telling people right now. Go Google. Wow. Go Google. Because it's sad. What I've had to endure and put up with and say, okay, how does my life then become better? My life becomes better by telling people, what do I have now in LLC? All the things that I need to have, that is in place. What does my future look like? My future looks bright. Yes. Right? That is what I started telling an audience because, yes, there's negative things. Some people don't like, oh, you you have all these negative things about you, all the bad media. Well, it's called I was abused. You think I'm going to sit here and be quiet and be abused? It's called speaking out. And last I checked, it's not against the law to speak out. Now, your physical abuse, was it just like physical or was it sexual also in a sexual manner? Um, I dealt with physical abuse. Some stuff happened in the 90s, I'll say that. But uh, as an adult, I dealt with physical abuse in their program and, and mental abuse. I deal with athletes talking about hitting me and punching me and Whoa. they're okay with that. And, and the Special Olympics is okay with that because these athletes are, are, are white people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it's yeah. crazy. They allowed them and you know, guess where I went? South Lake Carroll High School. You know, when we would swim there, you know, that, that uh whole school district was on the news for racism. Not only am I having to swim in a racist town is all the town racist I don't know but so far the student body and the way that those people was treated on that newscast that was horrible you can google South Lake Carroll racism it's horrible wow. it's horrible and I had to compete with that wow this is crazy I had to deal with that and then the fact that I was not allowed to go out and seek sponsorships it got worse because when I turned 18 you know, by law, I should have been able to make money off my image, Special Olympics, trying yes. to tell me the laws and any of that stuff didn't apply to them. Well, here recently, the college students won a case where that can benefit me, too. Because y'all are using me in the name of sport to make millions of dollars. Yeah. And I'm finna go get mine because y'all are using me and, and telling me that it's okay. No, it's not okay for me to be 40 years old and have to live in deplorable conditions. Do I live in a good place today? You betcha. I'm in a better place today. Yeah. I'm not sleeping under bridges or outside. Absolutely. Yeah. That I'm not. But it's like, it, I shouldn't have had to go through that is what I'm saying. That That's what I'm saying. Those are things you shouldn't have to go through. I thank God for my family and people, yeah. my brother, especially yeah. to this day, who talks to me. But yeah, that's a big deal. And I'm going to send you the cover of my book. I'm going to send you oh, the yeah. rest of these pictures. Make sure. Because. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to send that to you now. Okay. What I do know is it cannot happen. You cannot have people who feel like they're better than you. Mm-hmm. Because the color of their skin. Exactly. That's not okay. Yeah. That's not okay. And I sit here, and you can even look at my Facebook page. I've done so much to try to get my image out here. Mm-hmm. That's what I tried to do. And it's sad. It's even women's football. I stopped playing that stuff because I told my family, you have to have your own transportation. And if you don't have a car, you can't play. It's not that you can't make a team or nothing like that. I was like, I don't have a car. I don't have a car to keep driving all across Texas. And women's sports, they don't pay. Yeah. You know, it doesn't pay. If I was a man, yeah, then I could go play football, semi-pro or something. Yeah. But instead, it's like, no, you know, women's sports, it doesn't really pay. Yeah, I mean, they got the USFL, all this stuff for dudes to participate in. When it comes to women's stuff, it, yeah, it, it's not okay. Yeah, that's true. You know, women be out here playing tackle football for no money. 
I'm yeah, not going to continue to play sports for no money. Yeah, this is, I'm going to show you a picture of what their medals look like, too. Okay. Um, <clears throat> This is what their their medals look like with the special members. I'm sending that to you now, and then I'm going to send you a beautiful copy of my book. Okay. But yeah, I just... I just know that these things shouldn't happen. All I know is the Special Olympics gets all this money from the NFL, Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones don't know that we're being exploited because they have a whole marketing plan. They told me it's, it's, a, it's essentially a marketing plan of deceit. That is what that is. Yeah. It's of deceit. It, it, it's crazy. And is that you right there with the football, the Texas, the Giants right there? Yeah, that's me. That's me. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what I'm saying. Some oh, no, no. no like that, that. That, oh, that's not me in the picture. That's not me in the picture, though. That, that's Lawrence Taylor. Oh, I'm going to say, like. <laughs> no, that's, that's not I'm my picture. Say, no. <laughs> I'm going to say, because I'm like, if you're doing football or any kind of sport, shout out to you, because even you should get paid for what you're doing. Oh, no, um, that's not me. <laughs> that's, that's Lawrence Taylor. Right. <laughs> Right, I already. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, you know, things in my life have to turn around. I can't sit here and be on NBC Five. I got the microphone, and guess who hung up on on me? Who? Louis Scruggs, this black dude. Yeah. Um, when, on Facebook, mm -hmm. he stopped following me when I spoke out against how I was treated. You know, yeah. it was like the dude was afraid to help me tell my story. Um. And it's a sad shame. I'm sending you this stuff now in this article about the Confederate flag that, that the uh, Special Olympics is crazy. And, and this guy's it's is unbelievable. The guy who the guy who hung up on you is a, a black American. Yeah, he, he works for um, NBC Five, and um, he blocked me on Facebook and stuff. And I'm like, dude, I'm being used to make money. I don't get paid. I don't yeah. get a dime from the Special Olympics. These people high rolling, got money. While I get nothing, I'm told to shut up about it. That's wow. the pictures you see them. Yep. Okay. Who who's these people in the picture with you? These white people. Oh. Um, that's a friend. That's a friend. These this uh this dude's this uh black guy. He works for the station. Okay. And this white guy. He works for the station. But the black guy is the one I'm mad at because he's the one that pretty much rejected me. Mm. And block me on social media. Wow. Yeah, I don't. I don't. He, he's a sellout. When I try to go, go, you know, and yeah, I, yeah you no. know, it was like I don't, I don't want to be used to make money and for profit. They try to give and, you. And he thought, they try to give you a cat with a Confederate flag on it. No. Oh. Uh, the Special Olympics gave somebody oh, that somebody and that was in 2019 yeah that was somebody else but it just goes to show you the racism in their program and they're trying to say that that didn't happen and it did I believe it and you can see yeah and you can see the articles right there the stuff that I sent you yep. this one um, this one right here that I'm sending you this is in the Dallas Morning News wow like you know, I don't have to lie and make up stuff. You yeah. know, it's sad because I'm used to to make money for people. Yeah. I don't want to be used to make money for people. That's, that's modern day slavery right there. That's, or that's is exactly modern, modern day slavery. That's exactly what it is. That's it. And I told them that y'all are y'all are modern day slavery. That is what the Special Olympics is. They want you to work all day. Be committed to them and nobody else. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. And you make no money. And you you Google me. You see all this stuff come up about me. That's the stuff I can send you. Yeah. This other article I can send you as well. Let's see. I'm gonna go down here and send you this one as well. Because you can't make this stuff up. Yeah. Uh, you know that's why I keep doing all this stuff so I can have as much information out there as possible about the Special Olympics. This one right here, the Special Olympics exploit its athletes financially. There's the article yeah. right there. It's sad because at the end of the day, my story should be better than this. Yes. And what I know is it's a story of overcoming. It's a story. My story is going to be a story of perseverance and telling the truth. That's what I want people to walk away from this radio show with or podcast with that, that I'm telling the truth about what happened to me. Yeah. And I'm going to continue to tell that truth until I get the justice for my life. 
Wow. That is what that is. You know what I mean? No more so, you know, stories. So you, so you go ahead. Do you feel this type of thing is still going on in the Special Olympics right yes. now? Yes. Yes. None of these people get paid. It goes on right now. Wow. Nobody gets paid. Wow. Yeah, and this article, this woman who wrote the article did research on it. They don't just write articles. She said, I'm going to do some research on it and I'll get back with you. And she said, I believe you and, I'm, and she's going to do the article. Good. She believed me. I believe you too. She believed that I'll... You know, she was like, hey, you're, you're being used for money. And she's a white lady. So, yeah. you know, and I know you believe me. It's like, yeah. you get tired yeah. of that. Like, I stopped talking about it on Clubhouse because nobody on Clubhouse believes me. Oh, Special Olympics wouldn't do that. And da, da, da. that's because they got y'all's heads filled with all these great stories yeah. of people. Yeah, well, they have a whole... They have a whole podcast where Special Olympics athletes can go on and tell their story. Okay. But it's all manipulated. So do you plan to take it's all a, manipulated. Do you plan to take legal action? Like any types of lawsuits? Um Yeah. Yeah, because you definitely got a case here. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. My image is being used to make money. Exactly. You definitely have a case. Yeah, I'm being exploited, and I don't get any of that money or nothing. I mean, they won't even buy me clothes, uniforms. It's like, well, just think about money for a minute. They won't even do nothing for me. I'm like, do something. They do nothing. Like, literally no- literally nothing. They just put your face literally up. Literally nothing. Yeah. Yep, they just put your face up there. And because they put your face up there, they think they're doing something for you. While their Facebook pages get millions of views, mine got none. Told me I would get views and following. I got nothing. Wow. Yep, all the traffic, even on ESPN, they got millions of views. While I got nothing. That can't happen, dude. I mean, yeah. my, my story is better than that. I know that uh, some folks may not like what they're hearing. But what I'm going to say today is the message that was said here today is my opinion only. This message does not include other athletes, staff, or people. The way I was treated is about me and me only. I cannot speak for other states, territories, or how people may run the Special Olympics or how the Special Olympics function today because I am no longer an athlete. But at the end of the day, I have the right to speak these opinions and the thoughts of how I was treated um, in the Special Olympics. So, that disclaimer is something that I want people to understand, brother. So yes. that way, that you know, this is America. You got the right to speak out. Yes, it's Good called speech. it's called um, a, wh- a whistleblower. Yeah, a whistleblower. Whistleblowers exactly. have certain protections under the law. Exactly. Yep. Yep. They do. I'm serious. So that and that's what I am. I'm going to be a whistleblower because their program it's not good. See, look it up. I mean, all these people get money, and when we get nothing, and then. The volunteers are made to work all day, but they don't get anything. So the volunteers are working for free. Ba- the volunteers are working for free yep, too. Volunteers working for free, and then they get grandfathered in. They get money from the federal government to operate. Mm. It's crazy. It yeah, crazy. the Special Olympics is a scam. This this whole it's story is crazy. Wow. Yeah, I'm tired of working for free. I'm tired yeah. of getting up every day, 18 hours a day. I worked 18 hours a day, seven days a week when I was in the Special Olympics. Wow. Wow. I never got a dime. That's crazy. Or I would work eight hours for them, and then I'd have to turn around and go to, to a job or something. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah. Wow. I had no life. And then I had to swim to stay in shape yeah. daily. Yeah. Swimming is not basketball. You can't just get out there and think you know. It's not basketball. Wow. So it's 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 tough. Yeah. It's not basketball. So it's it's one of those things that my life's gonna turn well and um I'm also gonna drop the link to my website in there so that you okay, can put yeah. that up also in the um Yeah, I'm putting everything up. I'm putting everything up. Features. Okay. It's crazy. Nobody should be used to make money. Exactly. I don't want to be used to make money. Yeah. You, see? you do better than you know. I do better than that. And uh, yeah, check out my Facebook page. Okay. You're you're gonna like it. Um. You you want to tell the you people? Know, there's pictures. 
You want to tell the people the name of your book and uh, your cash app tag so they can send you some some funding to help you out? Oh, okay, absolutely. Um, the name of my book is called Swimming Upstream to Realize the Dream. That book is sold uh, online, Walmart and Amazon. You have the paper copy and you also have the downloadable Kindle um, version. If you have a cell phone or any of that, you can download that or even on a computer. Okay. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. That one is uh, two ninety nine, and the paperback version is fifteen ninety nine. Okay. So I certainly appreciate you guys. Um, and then my cash app is Golden Ashton. The uh, money sign Golden Ashton. And I just appreciate people because uh, anything helps uh, in this day and age. Yes. For me, losing both my parents. Um, Anything helps. Yes. Nobody wants to lose their parents. So prayers to God. And uh, I thank God every single day for my life, whether people believe in God or not. It's up to them. Folks have the right to believe in what they want. So that uh, things are happening in my life. And just being a public speaker and being able to make things happen. Um, that is the next journey in my life is to continue public speaking, continuing to get on podcasts and shows. And when this is released, I'm going to be very very excited and very very happy to get this shared out as soon as it's released i'm so so excited and i'm so grateful to be here and uh you folks get my book again swimming up streams to realize the dream love you folks and glad to be here uh, this was great thank you folks thank you so much for telling everybody the story the story needs to get out and it will be exposed it should i mean and they need to be exposed because yeah. this is not just a state issue this is a global issue Special Olympics is now a global company. I mean, you can even look up articles where they where they essentially lost black athletes. Look it up. Special Olympics, Special Olympics, uh, loses black athletes. Type that in. Oh, are these black it athletes? Are these athletes li- leaving willingly, or are they getting kicked out? No, they got lost on a trip. What? <laughs> they were they lost them on a trip. They- yeah, it was all. Yeah, it was in. Yeah, you can look it up on the internet when this, you know, when this radio show is over. But yeah, okay. I'm telling you things you can go Google. I'm, you know, you oh, know, wow. I'm not just telling you stuff that's just made up. This stuff you can go Google. It's sad. <sighs> Special Olympics doesn't care about the well-being of black athletes on their program. I see they that. told me they weren't responsible for my safety. I had to be what? responsible for myself. They, they told yep. you they weren't responsible for your safety. Yep. Oh. Well, why do you think I'm going out the program? Because I told them about a safety issue about a lady abusing me and stuff. They're not. They're like, we're not responsible for your safety. Yeah, they told me that. So wow. that's why I'm going out the program because that's what they believe. If they believed that they were responsible for my safety, I would still be in the program. Yeah. Wow. And I'm not. So that has to that has to tell you something. So like I said, I I um I absolutely appreciate everything. I, I really do because God is good every day yes. all day every day and it's just you just take one step at a time and that's what's happening in my life God is good all the time and all I can do is to continue to step up and tell the truth and be honest about things and um, the good Lord knowing the good Lord will make things happen you know for me because I just gotta tell the truth yes. and that I've been able to do and I've been grateful so yeah, I appreciate being here. I'm glad I was able to talk to you and let you know. But yeah, there's a lot more to be said, you know, about the Special Olympics and what you know what needs to be exposed. Um, also, an electronic press kit, if that's something you know how to make, um, that'll be cool to have the one I have updated. Okay. All right. Yeah, if you know how to make one of those, I don't, I don't really know, but that's what the next thing that I need. Okay, I'm not sure, but I, I, I could definitely find out. I got people that work on stuff like that. Yep, there you go. Yep, yeah. that's that's what I needed. And, the, and then the yeah. last thing for me, I hope that someday I can get my social media monetized. That's the last step, and then I should be rolling. Well, which so, social media do you have? Um, I have uh, I have all the major social media, you know, the Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, oh, okay. but none of them pay me anything. Okay, so, you want to tell the people the the, uh, the name of your, your IG and the YouTube pages? 
Yes, my uh, Instagram page is uh, beautiful under uh, go under uh, golden Ashton underscore golden Ashton underscore um, US, and then uh, mm-hmm. on my Facebook is Ashton Smith. You'll see me with the swim cap on, and then on Good. Facebook you can also follow my second page, Golden Ashton. Twitter the same thing, Golden Ashton. Kind of trying to keep it uniform so with youtube as well so you should be able to find me on tiktok as well under golden ash and trying to keep it formal so okay. i appreciate y'all no and i'm grateful you should be able to google me under all of those and find me and that's the next and last step is to get my social media set up and uh verified i think is what they call it yeah um they said everybody can pay for that but i think paying for it is not a good idea because it makes you look like you're just buying a check mark instead of earning a check yes mark. exactly it's a big difference exactly so but yes, sir. I am glad I spoke to you today. Glad to have done this. And uh, I can't wait to hear what you uh, put together. You got the recording, so yes. now you can add that recording into what we did. Most definitely. So, I'm so excited, dude. I cannot wait. And then you got the pictures that I sent you, so yes. you can kind of add uh, the book or add this stuff. Yes. To, um, and I'll send you a picture of my face as well, so you can add that to, to okay. uh, Most the definitely. Uh, circle. Okay. Okay. I'll get that done. I shall appreciate you. And when did you say you'll get this released out? Uh, probably next Saturday. Next Saturday. I can't wait to see it. I shall appreciate you, brother. And we'll. And that'll help it kind of spread out because I just got off a podcast not too long ago. Okay. So that'll be good. It'll be released more toward the middle of the month or something. That's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Thank you so much, brother. I shall appreciate you, man. You be blessed. You too. Thank you. Bye. Hey, thank you for doing this, man. I can't wait to hear it. Uh, no problem. Bye. You too. Y'all be blessed. You too. Uh, bye. Okay. It says this Special Olympics reaches for the highest ideals of sports, just like the Olympic Games. Right. Special Olympics athlete oath is let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave and attempt. Right. All Special Olympics athletes repeat these words before each competition. The oath is a pledge or promise to try to achieve the highest level of good sportsmanship at training and competition. Right. Furthermore, SOTX athletes represent the organization off the playing field as well. Okay. So their behaviors and actions should always be positive. Right. As a Special Olympics athlete, I understand and pledge that sportsmanship. I will practice good sportsmanship. I will act in ways that bring respect to me, my coaches, my team, my family, and Special Olympics. Right. I will respect other athletes, volunteers, officials, and coaches by not swearing at them, using foul language, or demonstrating inappropriate gestures or actions. I will demonstrate good behavior and actions with other athletes, coaches, volunteers, officials, and staff. Okay. Here's Can I have that? Can I have Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. No problem. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, because I have a question for you. Okay. After me reading those few statements, do you think you follow that? Um, I don't. I don't. Last month or so. I don't curse and swear at officials. I. I don't. I don't do that. I don't do things that. And I would say in the last month. Um. As far as my conduct, I've been on the radio. I've been professional. I haven't. You know, done anything wrong i've done everything professionally over the air and otherwise and i think my conduct was fine over the radio but i will say as far as i got angry because of the way i was treated it had nothing to do with staff with special olympics none of that uh there's a person messing with me and her name is tori and she's been messing with me for the last six months ever since we came back from world games she messes with me and picks on me. And so all of that stuff has been held up because I, I left, like when I left World Games, when I got off the plane, I moved on, didn't say anything to her. So yeah, my conduct last night might not have been necessarily, you know, appropriate, but I felt like I was being attacked by someone's family and parents that I never met. And I sent all those, I have those text messages too that y'all can take a look at so you can see because I showed this to someone who deals with legal stuff and they said how are you wrong for defending yourself against someone who causes calls you racist names like the n-word other inappropriate names she said that to my face and she's also told me that black people should not be in swimming she told me that. Right. Um, i've never seen control, control why no no i cannot right yep. so what you did is try to take matters in your own hands and solve the situation you should have came to us and let us solve the situation. Okay. 
Okay, so you did act inappropriate. Um, and we've heard, um, as staff, we've heard you not cuss directly at us, so to speak. Um, well, I'm sorry about that. I mean, that was out of anger. I, right, you know, right, I told everybody that I'm getting picked on. That. Okay. We yeah, definitely understand that. Okay. Okay. okay, We're not, we're not against you in any, any way, shape, or form. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So I'm being picked on but now. we know, personally, you, as an athlete, have acted inappropriate. All right? What did I do? Defend myself against someone who's picking wait, on wait, me? Wait, 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 You took matters into your own hands. You come to us, let us think. If, if an athlete is really messing with you and doing those things, come to us, show us those, reveal those things to us, and then we can take you to the higher court. Well, I'm glad that y'all are able to do that because for years, Special Olympics has hung up in my face. Even Mr. Momentoff said he tried to bring up these issues even at national games, and they were blatantly ignored. We're talking about back in 2018. So this is I not let's something don't worry, Let's don't worry about the past. We're I'm just saying, this, these, th th with me being picked on and all the people brought all this, this is not new. And so I want to move forward. Like my pastor said, I want to move forward. And that's why I gave all that to Krista. I didn't say anything on live today. I went to my eye doctor's appointment, and I've been at church all day. I moved on from this kind of stuff. Now, if if like my attorney said when it came to taking her to court, let Special Olympics, um, you know, I don't know what the wherewithal is with that, but I can't have people degrading me, calling me no, names, have to go that. and making fun of my body. Her parents, I have text messages that you guys should read. Her parents made fun of me today. She was talking to me on my phone after I blocked her from Facebook. My attorney said that is harassment. When I blocked you from Facebook, then your family attacks me. Right. So let's, let's, yes. don't worry about her right now. This is all about you. Okay. As an organization, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll deal with that. Okay. And I'll let y'all, and I'll let y'all deal with that. I told, yeah, I told Krista, I said, all I'm trying to do is do what I'm asked to do. If I'm supposed to be on the radio, if I'm supposed to do what I'm supposed to do, that is what I've been doing. I haven't been picking on nobody. I haven't. But you, you know, you had you broke some her? of these statements, right? And you you believe that you broke some of these statements as far as But I'm being picked on. What the I know, I know, I know. I know. I broke these statements and I quote, I broke these statements because I'm being picked on. I don't act appropriate when someone's picking on me. It's not fair. It's not fair. But you go to us, let us deal with it. I will now, now that I know that y'all can help me legally. But I, Special Olympics has always told me that's not our responsibility. Right. So I felt like I should have, like my attorney said, we're told if it's not Special Olympics responsibility, all I'm trying to do is use the law. I didn't say anything about, I didn't act inappropriate or tell her I was going to beat her up or none of, none of that. I'm appropriate within the law and fair. And she said stuff about me and other threatening things to me physically. I never went there with her, so that's acting inappropriate. I stayed within the law, and I told her that I'm within the law. I'm protecting myself against people who want to be racist to me, and it's not fair. And yeah, I was inappropriate with, and like I told him, I apologize to him. I'm sorry about that, and um, you know, people understand that I was upset. I've been in Special Olympics for decades since I was a child. I don't really ever act inappropriate. I do what I'm supposed to do. I did what I was supposed to do at Worlds and Nationals and got treated like trash, not only by at the athlete, but coaches when I was at World Games got on me and not other people. And it's not fair the way I was treated by coaches and personnel. And Krista went on the trip with me and she recorded. She, we sat on the edge of the bed and I was ready to go home because of the way I was treated, not only by her, she... Tory made my life miserable over there. Utterly miserable. And so, so here's what, here's yes. what we're going to do. Okay. Remember, we cannot control anybody outside of Special Olympics Texas. We can go to, to people that can't. Right, 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 right. Go to them. We can only control Texas. Right, 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 right. That's what we're placed. Right, 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 right. And so what we want to do, we want to use this as a learning experience for you. Okay? We love you. Everybody sitting at this table loves you. We believe heavily in you. We know that the potential that you have, we know that um, you can do amazing things for this organization. You have done amazing things. Yeah, I've been on the radio, and I told, and then the lady with the South Lake Sharks got back with me. She said, um, I'm sorry, I've been out of town. And um, I told her that I, I, I want to go to state. I've been swimming. I've been swimming every day, and I don't want to get in trouble because I'm just defending myself. Right. So... <laughs>
we want you to learn from this, okay? And so I'm gonna read you something. It's the statement we're gonna we're gonna give you. Okay, you're gonna give you something. All right. All right. So it says, it says, dear Ashton Smith, this letter is to inform you that you are suspended from participation in any special events activity effective immediately. This indefinite suspension. You know what indefinite means? I can never come back. No, it means it's not permanent.